guys, it's Jason and Lanson here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Today, Lanson and I thought that we would kick it old school and we're gonna take this four ski sled that we have behind the snow machine and go get some firewood out with it. Now this sled is a pretty unique design. The guys uh, that I worked with 20 years ago helped me design it and build it. And uh, I'm gonna go over some of that with you here a little later on in the video, just to, in case you wanna build one yourself. But uh, this is what I used 20 years ago before this guy was born and I uh, didn't have fancy cramming log loaders and ATVs and tractors with winches and this is what I used to get my firewood out. And so we thought it'd be an excellent day today to head down in and clean up an apple tree that blew over last fall. We think it blew over. Maybe a black bear got in the top of it and pulled it over because it was a pretty good tree. Anyways, uh, we're going to get things warmed up and head down and get to work. You ready to get at it? Yeah. Let's, Let's get, get at, at it. it. All right, guys, I gotta stop and catch my breath. So we don't know if that tree just got old and rotten and the wind blew it down, or uh, if we had a little help from one of our black bears, because we have quite a few around here. And I see branches broken off from time to time from bears climbing up in the trees to eat the apples. Lanson's doing a good job getting the sled loaded up. Now I promised that I'd do a little bit of a video on this four ski sled for the snow machine. And so this is a, a home build, um, but it followed a design from years ago. And uh, it's kind of like the old bobsleds that they used to use for the horses. And what I mean by that is the back skis are stationary and they don't move, but the front skis are on a pivot and they'll turn and follow the snow machine. So the way that this was built, and you can see that right here was there's a piece of quarter inch or three eighths inch flat steel that's welded to the bottom of the sled. And then it's pinned together with a big bolt with the uh, same thing below it. That allows these front skis to pivot back and forth. And you can see down in here that it's also built on a rocker. So everything can move up and down. So the hitch to the snow machine is able to float up and down with the, uh, with the machine. It's able to turn the front skis to follow the tracking of the sled. And also the hitch pin has about an inch and a half to two inch slide on it with a bolt that goes through here. And what you do is uh, you back up and then you get a start and all you need is an inch or so to start the sled from moving and the snow machine will take it. But if that was a, a direct connect with no ability to get started, you could uh, sink the track of your snow machine into the snow quite quickly and get stuck. So that's why that's built that way. The sled is about 32 inches wide. The sideboards are eight inches high and it's seven feet long. And you know what? You can bring a pretty good jag of wood out behind your snow machine. The snow machine will certainly pull that amount of weight. Uh, it's just a matter of getting going to make sure you don't get stuck first. 
And you can see with that apple tree, there was actually three pretty decent sized trunks coming out of that tree base. And we're going to be able to get all of that wood on the sled easily. So that's uh, a little demo of the four ski sled. So like we've said, uh, we really hate to cut apple trees. If this one wasn't blown down, we never would have touched it. That partridge that I showed you guys at the start of the video, I took that video probably about three weeks ago back in the woods when I was back in cutting firewood. Uh, we call those partridge mountain chicken here just because we live in Oak Mountain and they taste just like chicken. We love them. Uh, I grew up hunting out here and the kids are hunting following my footsteps and we really enjoy getting out in the fall and trying to find some of those mountain chickens. So if the apple tree was in good condition, we never would have touched it because the partridge love to eat apples and berries in the fall. And uh, the more apple trees you have means the more partridge that you're gonna have. Anyway, when, it, when it's blown down or a bear pulls it down, whatever happened to this tree, we're definitely gonna take advantage of it and get the wood out of it. So just a couple of quick notes. There's probably people out there wondering if apple wood is actually a good firewood to burn. And my answer to that is, yeah, uh, it's a really good wood to burn. From a British thermal unit perspective or BTU perspective, apple wood has about 27 million BTUs per cord. That's higher than maple, higher than oak, uh, and it's right in there with beech. And the only thing that I've seen around here that compares to this or beats it is the ironwood that we have, which is a really good firewood as well. So you get good BTUs out of this wood, and the other thing that you get is a nice aroma when it burns. And you know that people love to, uh, to use apple chips when they're doing their smoking. And uh, I actually have a friend who built a little uh, mobile smoking unit and he does cheeses and hams and stuff like that. And I might run some of this up to him uh, so that he can run it through a smoker because it's beautiful stuff. It's gonna be a nice little load of wood, Lanson. Good little load of wood. Too bad we couldn't get the weather to cooperate with us. to the yard again in one piece that's a good thing we don't want, like to do uh, repair work unless we absolutely have to we get a nice little pile of apple wood here from that blown down tree we'll clean the brush up in the spring with the backhoe good for uh, Lanson and I to get out and work together he doesn't realize it right now but he'll appreciate that when he gets older so like I always say if you like these videos and you want to see more of them hit the like button hit the subscribe button, share them with your friends and your family, and come on back and check in on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain Acots will be up to next. We'll see you in the next one.